Hello and welcome back to Michael's Japan Diaries. Today we are out exploring. Right now I'm at the Dasaifu Temmangu Shrine. I haven't been here before so um, we'll be exploring it together in just a little bit. I just wanted to say hi to you here first. As you can see I'm a little bit removed from where there are people right now so I don't need to wear my mask. Of course as soon as I go to anywhere where there's people I will, I'll be wearing my mask and as soon as I go out of the shade I'll probably also be wearing my sunglasses so I just wanted to say hi to you properly here and um, this is uh, just a bit south of Fukuoka city I actually cycled here this morning it's right now like 20 minutes to 10 uh, and I left home at 8 o'clock uh, cycled straight here and um, so it's it was a bit of a trek but it's nice and uh, and cool this morning I think it was only like 26 degrees uh, and, and a bit windy so relatively cool early in the morning of course it's probably not going to be so nice uh, as we go further along the uh, further up the day I love whatever the proper term for that is um, anyway I will um, I'll, I'll go around and explore here I've, I've literally just gone into this Rhine area and, and sat down here so I haven't explored anything at all so uh, let's let's go around and have a look shall we all right so from now on I assume the focus is going to be all over the place because the camera cannot tell where my face is because I'm all covered up um, anyway, as I said, this is Dazaifu Tenmangu Shrine. Down that way there is where Dazaifu Station is. I could have taken the train here, but why take the train when you can just cycle? Um, this is like the street that leads up to it. None of the shops are open because it's early in the morning. Um, so probably later there'll be something down that way. And here is then the main, uh, well, the gate to the shrine area. There's a little bit of a map over there, um, let's actually have a look what's going on. So you can see this here is at the entrance where we are, come in from down there. Uh, and well actually the place where I was, say, where, where I was uh, introducing this was over by the pond here, but uh, we'll, we'll go there together so we can, we can see what's going on. So it's not actually entirely first time uh, exploring this bit because this first little bit I have seen so sorry about that all the rest will be first time experiences this part here is where it gets really really great um, let's, just, let's just have a look shall we Yeah, so this right here is the bridge that crosses the pond to go over to the main shrine building that's over that way. And this place is so beautiful. Like, have a, just have a look at this place here. Uh, just look at this pond with these trees. I mean, oh. I'm in the way, so let's let's just get rid of me. Just look at that. And actually, there's a, there's a bit of a, a sign here. When I got here originally, that was actually covered up, um, presumably because of the typhoon that passed here yesterday. And um, let's see, what does it say? The bridge is formed from three elements approaching the bridge from the section furthest from the Honden. The first arch sections represent the past, so the first one here will be the past. The flat central second section the present and the second arch section the future. Alright, so it's like past, present, future as we cross the bridge. Interesting. Uh, oh, interesting. So apparently the pond is shaped like the character for heart as well. That's interesting, so like crossing through the past into the present and then across the future over this heart-shaped pond or shaped like the character, the kanji character for heart so let's go up here and like this these trees are just really really great I've, I don't know, I, did, I think that's really neat. And just look at this place! So great! And of course, like the water is splashing and, uh, and how it's all 
calm here in early in the morning. It's just real nice. So now we come down to the flat section representing the crescent. Oh well, I guess this next bit is the crescent. And just came through the past there. A little bit of a shrine here. A little bit of a turtle just sitting out there. Or tortoise. Probably a tortoise. And this place is just great. finished walking through the flat present there and now we're going up to the future other people coming that way so let's just wait don't want our going through the future to be interrupted by other people do we now so yeah the future time traveling Ooh. and then we come down to this pathway that goes up to the main temple building of temple shrine sorry Let's go up this way. This, that way up there is up to the pond where I, where I started the video. Uh, so I did just take a little bit of a sneak peek around here. There's a little kindergarten over there. Obviously I can't film anything in that direction, but uh, there were lots of little kids playing outside when I got here earlier. Uh, hmm, what's this over here? Let's have a look. This looks very much like a kid in. Like, like the name of the beer, but like, uh, I, I think it's written on Chinese mythological beast. It's kind of like this unique corny lion kind of weird thing. <laughs> Neat. And then of course, as always, this, this uh, old place where you wash your hands before entering the temple. Uh, or shrine. Man, I keep, I keep saying these things. Now I need to make sure that I don't say it wrong. It is, it is a shrine. Yeah. So sorry, if, if I mess up the terms at some point, then, then yeah, it's a mistake. This is a Shinto shrine. So if I ever say temple, that's wrong. Yeah, so that right there is the main shrine building and all the way around here there are little, these little booths where you can buy fortunes and stuff. There's a big booth over there that sells the uh, traditional uh, protective charms that they always do at the shrines. Uh, I'll just leave those alone and do their, let them do their thing to not disturb them. So let's, let's move on this way, see what's out there. All right. Apparently they also have an amusement park here. I don't know if it's related to the shrine, but given how it's basically on the shrine grounds, maybe somehow. There's a neat little pond out here. Um, like that. Quite nice. Quite nice. Uh, I'm not going to go to the amusement park, but I just want to go up that way and see, see what's up there. So let's have a look. All right, that's really neat. Over there is the Kyushu National Museum. It seems like they're, they're just escalators going up from where in the hills, in the, in the forest up there. But of course, there's, there's an actual museum building somewhere in there. Uh, Love a little garden there. Oh, and the, that's the entrance to the amusement park. And the light here is so weird. Sorry about the constant, uh, you know, sunglasses and not sunglasses and, and difficult to see. Anyway, that's the that's the amusement park down there. I'm now trying to go up this, uh, this little back street road thing here. Uh, see where that takes us. Because as I said, there is another shrine up this way. Uh, that I wanted to walk to, but I uh, don't know how to get there. Well, I do because Google Maps, but shh. Um, let's, let's just see what's up this way. All right, so based on the fact that I'm now out where there are no actual people around, I have taken my mask off again. There's a loud road here, which you can probably hear. That way over there is where I came from. So that leads back down to the amusement park and uh, Dazai Fu Tenmangu Shrine. It's still a bit of a walk up this way, up towards the mountains where I want to go. 
I don't actually know what it's like. I just know the location. So yeah, it's gonna be gonna be in uh, an adventure uh, to explore. Um, I will have to go back down that way because my bike is uh, is parked d down by Dasaifu Station. But I specifically chose to walk here, given how I cycled something like 15 kilometers to get here. Um, I wanted to use some uh, some different muscles in my legs so that I do, I'm not completely dead by the end of the day. I'm just yeah. I think this way leads where I want to go, but we're just exploring. You would think after living in the countryside for a year that this kind of stuff would just be boring and same here to me. It's, it's not like I think just having been in a, in a city now for more than a month. This is, this is, I just appreciate this even more. I just, I just really missed just being outside in, like, in peaceful. Well, I want to say nowhere. It's not really nowhere, but like, just, just this. Now this right here is what I was going for. There's another little shrine hidden up there, Kamado Shrine, and. Uh, I was recommended to go here, like specifically in autumn, but uh, I was like, yeah, I'll go now, I'll go now, check it out, so I can always go here later again. Uh, I can see why this place looks... Oh, just look at this. I love this. Like, there's a lot to be said about the grand uh, shrines with, with like big buildings and all, and like the, the pond and the and the bridges down there. That was that was gorgeous. But there's just something about the feel of a place like this. Oh man! And like these are cherry blossom trees all the way around here. So in spring, this is going to be fantastic. These trees here are uh, momiji, the Japanese. Uh, maple tr uh, trees with the, these leaves that turn beautiful beautiful red in uh, in autumn so wow yeah i can i can definitely see this place would be fantastic in all seasons i love the feel of this yeah it's uh, that, was, that was a fantastic choice to go here This, this, this is this this is great. This is fantastic. This, this is exactly what I was what I was looking for. Uh, like get out of the of the busy city and uh, like just just just, just yeah, just something like this. That was that was what I was going for. All right, mask is back on since I'm back in an area where there's actually people. This is the main shrine building. It actually looks brand new. And uh, on the topic of brand new, the building over there where they sell uh, fortunes and, uh, and charms and stuff also looks like brand new and very fancy modern. Uh, yeah. Actually, I, got, I was talking about the, the beautiful nature and stuff down there. This, this is actually really, nice and elegant contrast to it because it's not like this is super flashy and uh, over the top it's, it's clearly new and, and shiny but it really fits in with the with the style of everything so that's kind of nice let's go over here and uh, oh man oh boy look at this look at this view here oh man Wow. That is a view 
that is worth the trip out here. Wow. And like they, they've made this observation deck here for it. Wow, this is uh, this is fantastic. It was great, great. All right, so I just came down from Komodo Shrine over there, and there's actually a hiking trail here that goes up uh, a couple mountains. I am really, really tempted to go up there, but I'm absolutely not prepared for hiking today. So not today. Um, it looks like from the trailhead here. It is over five kilometers to the top, so that's not happening today. I will definitely come back here and do it because this area is great and I do love me a good hike and uh, this one this one looks real nice for it. Um, so probably a day where I'll take the train here rather than cycling 15 kilometers before hiking five kilometers up a mountain. But man, look at this trailhead. Yeah, I am definitely coming back here to hike that. Not doing it today because I'm absolutely not prepared for hiking, but the, that's a thing that needs to happen. This this place is great. It's great. Anyway, um, I'll head back down to uh, Dasaifu. Um, I want to check out some of the shops down there, the uh, street leading up to the, the, uh, the big shrine there, so I'll probably see you down that way somewhere. Right, I am back in Dazai. The station is just down there. I actually cheated a little bit. I took a bus back because when I got back to Kamado Shrine from where I was, there was a bus parked there and I was like, yeah, this, this is fine. It was like, it was 100 yen and it saved me 2.5 kilometers of walking back down here. So, so that was nice. The place I'm at now is back at the shopping street. This is the, the way that leads up to um, Dazai Fu Tenmangu Shrine where I started. I just wanted to do a little bit of recording here because I just stopped at a very very lovely little uh, traditional Japanese cafe hidden in there yeah, really really nice there's a Starbucks just across from it like but like why why would you go to Starbucks when there's like a lovely traditional Japanese cafe there I didn't really want to record anything in there but I'll probably stick a picture of, uh, of the match I had in somewhere like there um, anyway I I do kind of want some uh, some lunch before I leave here because again I have to cycle all the way back and it's like 14-15 kilometers so getting some actual lunch is probably good and uh, so I'll see if I can't find something somewhere here. Right, that was uh, that was it. I did get some lunch but again it was this traditional uh, old style Japanese place so I didn't really feel good about uh, recording in there so uh, I had some absolutely delicious uh, tempura and uh, cold soba noodles uh, I'll stick a picture up here this time and that was that was also down the uh, street you can't see it because there's a car in the way but like the, the street that I've shown a couple of times is, is up that way right now I'm just sitting outside uh, the Saifu station um, as you can see, it says right there, that's the station over there. My bike is parked a bit down that way. Um, so yeah, that, that was, uh, this, is, this is a really, really great place. Like the, the whole area here is filled with these uh, traditional style Japanese uh, shops and everything. It's, uh, it's a really great place. Plus you saw the shrines and everything. So definitely could recommend coming out here. It's really easy to access from, uh, from Fukuoka city. Um, there's, uh, there's the Nishitetsu line that, that goes straight out here. There's, a, there's one uh, train change in there, but otherwise it's, it's pretty easy to get here. Or you can, you can, you can just cycle, it's, it's just like 15 kilometers from central Fukuoka. Uh, anyway, I'll uh, get to that 15 kilometer cycle back home and uh, thank you for watching this time and see you next time.